G'day everyone, Tim from the Car Family Farm here again. So today what we're going to be up to is we're just going to be doing a bit of a water test. Make sure our nutrient levels are pretty good in our water to make sure that we keep up all the essential nutrients for our plants. So today we're going to be testing for iron. Iron, as everyone knows, is a critical nutrient for pretty much everything on the face of the earth. So we have some shoelated iron here, which is what I've been using now for over a year and it's kept our greenhouse pumping along beautifully. We've also got some potassium. Can't actually test that as much. It's just about knowing how plants grow. And I have noticed lately that we plants are showing a bit of deficiency uh, of potassium. So that comes up as a bit of a yellowing of the leaves, which you can see here in the old basil. All right, so let's get into it. I found that using one and a half teaspoons of potassium seems to work really well and make the plants really happy. As we can see there, the iron level is quite low, so we've added one and a half teaspoons, which will bring it up to a reasonable level. So a few of the other nutrients we add to the system are magnesium sulfate, which is commonly known as Epsom salts, as well as calcium, just to keep everything happy and growing in the greenhouse. Alrighty, so the last one we're going to use, guys, is just a kelp powder. So this has got heaps of nitrogen in it and a lot of other trace elements. Uh, you copy your barons and things like barons and things like that. Uh, I get it from a place in Queensland and they've always been really good. So this is probably one of the best uh, powders I've found. Uh, completely organic and the greenhouse absolutely loves it. Alrighty, so let's give the greenhouse a good dosing. For the best results, I found out that putting one heaped teaspoon in each grow bed underneath the water inlet seems to get the best uh, results. Uh, definitely dilutes down into the uh, grow bed so much better than any other way I've found. Alright guys, so that's the greenhouse all fed up, so that will keep it running for quite a while on those nutrients and I'll come back and check it again probably about next week, make sure everything's happy. Alright guys, as usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, head over to Facebook, check out what's going on over there, don't forget Instagram and TikTok and our website www.carfamilyfarm.com, that's where all the merch is, alright guys, I think that'll do it there, cheers.